A cleft palate is actually a general growth abnormality where at the top of our mouth, the growth centers didn't meet. And ultimately this leaves a hole where ultimately there should have been a conjoined area of tissue. On average, it affects about one in 1,000 live births. Patients of Asian ethnicity are about one in 500, and patients of Caucasian ethnicity are a little less frequent. We treat these cleft palates primarily to generate good speech. One of the most important things that our palate does is elevate and close off our nose from our mouth, which is extremely important for sounds like P's and G's and hard K's because when you form those, you have to close off your nose from your mouth in order to form the kind of airflow that generates those sounds. Typically, we treat the cleft palate at about 10 to 12 months of age because we found that that is when children start to develop speech sounds through babbling. We want to have their palate in continuity so they don't learn bad habits with how their palate is moving. Outcomes are typically very good. About 10 to 20% go on to need additional speech type surgery. However, they are still learning good speech habits in the interim.